Hey, this is Zach with PRP Seats, here today to show you how to install our 2013 to 2018 JK seat covers. Our seat covers provide a brand new look for your Jeep and are quick and easy to install. All you're gonna do is just slide them over your stock seats. We have five pre-designed color selections for you to choose from, or you can head over to prpseats.com and choose from over 60 different colors and materials and design your own. So today, we're gonna to show you how to install our covers on a 2013 to 2018 JK for either a two-door or a four-door. When you first pull your covers out of the box, they're most likely gonna be kind of wrinkled and folded over and kind of things like that. The easiest way we found to get all those wrinkles out and make it easy to slide the covers over your seat is to go outside and leave each cover laying out in the sun for an hour or so. Doing this allows the material to warm up, stretch out, and become more flexible for when you're pulling it over the seat. We're gonna start off by installing the passenger seat. Each cover is driver or passenger specific, so make sure you're using the right one. The best way to distinguish each one is that on the top cover, you're gonna have this opening here for the airbag that should be on the door side of the seat. The driver's side cover will also have an additional cutout right here that's designed for the lowering handle. First thing first, remove the headrest. Then we're gonna start with the top of the seat. On top, you're gonna to tuck the material around these headrest slots and just kind of work it around so it pops up underneath it. You're gonna tuck the cover through the center of the seat to the back. Then on the back side, lift up both flaps, find the cover and start to pull it through. On the back, you're gonna find this Velcro strip covered over by soft material. So, remove those material strips. Take the stock seat flap back here and kind of tuck it in and underneath. Pull the bottom of this up with the other side of the Velcro, the soft Velcro, and connect it over. On the side of the seat, you're gonna find this flap sticking out. You're gonna run this around the release handle, through the back of it, and pull it through. On the side of the arm right here, you're gonna find this opening that allows the airbag to deploy in the event of an accident. All you need to do is kind of take this material, tuck it back in, and especially make sure this soft material is laying up over the side and under the front of the seat. So you just kind of work your hand through and tuck it around. Once you've gotten the cover mostly on, it's always good to just kind of work your way around, kind of pull and push, basically tighten out, make sure the cover is sitting on there flat. If you're having a lot of trouble with the material and there's still a lot of wrinkles in there, put it out in the sun for longer. So just make sure you have the correct side with the cutout for the reclining handle on the outside. Then you'll also notice over here, we have a slot opening for the seat belt. How we're gonna do this? Our bottom cover comes with a string attachment that is already wound through the cover. Basically, we're gonna lay it on, work it around the bottom of the seat, bring those two strings together on the back, then use a pair of pliers to pull them tight and tie them together. So first step is gonna be to feed the seat belt through the slot. Kind of lay the cover out and around the seat and start to work it down on all the sides. Then, just like the top cover, we're going to take this back flap and feed it through the center of the seat. Then, once you're on the back, pull it through. Uh, come back up to the front and kind of work it around and even it out. Uh, as you can see here, I actually kind of pulled it too far back into the seat and it's riding up on front. 
So just kind of work your way around the entire side of the seat, even it out and make the cover sit where it's supposed to. A good indication to figure out kind of where your cover is sitting on the top versus the bottom is to make sure that these two center lines match up. Then on either side of the seat, you're gonna find these strings. Make sure when you're wrapping this around the back that you put it above this slider mechanism. If you go down here, it's gonna get caught every single time you try to slide the seat forward or back. So you wanna make sure you run it over the top. Once you have the cover seated fairly correctly, go in the back and find these two strings on either end. You're gonna feed these through these loops on the back flap and then use a pair of pliers, pull them really, really tight and tie them off. If you have any excess, you can just use pliers or scissors to cut it off. So now we're going to put on the headrest covers. There are differences between the front and rear headrest covers. Uh, easiest way to tell them apart is the front have the kind of skinny tabs, the rears have a little bit wider tabs. And then just kind of work it around, make sure that the material is sitting where it needs to be, that everything's straight. All the logos are straight. Then on the bottom, you're gonna fold in these two tabs on the side. Connect those two Velcro pieces. If you have any creasing on the sides or anything like that, just kind of tuck it in and rework it however you need. Now you're all done with the passenger side. The driver side is mostly the same. Put on the bottom cover, put on the top. The only difference is, is that you're gonna have this adjusting handle here that you need to use a screwdriver, pop off the cap, then use a T40 to remove this handle and the seatbelt. And that's a wrap. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below or email sales at prpseats.com.